Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on Assetto Corsa Competizione where we are continuing on with this Blanc Pain Endurance Cup Championship. Now last time out I had a 12th place finish in round one at Monza and today we're moving over to the UK round at Silverstone. It's the exact same format as the first round so it's going to be an hour long race. If you missed my previous video uh, in this series, I am driving a Lamborghini Huracan GT3 or the Evo I think it's called and we're going to be driving the Barwell Motorsports variant of it. So looking to get some points today, the Lamborghinis were really quick at this race in last year's real life event. Uh, we are pretty quick so far. I've just done some practice here and there, and I'm really happy with the balance of the car. And thankfully, it's sunny, unlike last time uh, at Monza, which was absolutely smashing it down with rain. But anyway, that's enough talk. I'm going to head into a quick qualifying session, set the grid, and yeah, we'll move uh, into the video from there. All right, so that's qualifying done. Managed to put it on the outside of the third row, so starting sixth overall. Now, the way that qualifying works in the Blanc Pain endurance series is a little bit different to most other categories you essentially have three qualifying sessions where each driver gets their own chance to set a time even though i'm the only one driving in the game there's like three drivers uh that will drive this car in the race then they take the average time across those three sessions and it sort of culminates to uh where you actually start on the grid in reference uh to everyone else and yeah the first session we went pretty well managed to put it on second uh, the second session fell a little bit further back and then the third session i was using older tires so yeah we qualified like down in 20th in session number three but overall it means we start sixth uh, so I'm hoping our race pace will be okay I mean this track is a little bit hot so it is a little bit slick out there the setup of the car is actually not too bad it's good over one lap I'm just a little bit worried about some instability issues as the race goes on but we will have to wait and see what happens so without any further ado we'll get into today's race yeah we have 32 cars in today's race now unfortunately um, there is a big issue I find with Assetto Corsa Competizione where you can only really set, set, well, especially on my system anyway, but whenever you go sort of above 30 cars on the grid, you start to get these weird stuttering areas. I've managed to run the 32 in today's race um, and have no issues as yet. But yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, it really doesn't make good use of or optimize the graphics. I mean, the frame rate's fine, but I just get these really weird stutters that really does get annoying so unfortunately we don't have the full grids that you would see in the real life sort of Blanc Pain series is the setting of the AI I have got them set to 100% uh, difficulty no yeah 100% difficulty so it's it's as high as it could possibly go but the AI aggression set to max because I do like uh, a little fun race with the AI I like them to be aggressive I find they're a little bit too soft in this game um, and then we got the damage maxed out as well so we got to be careful not to rub up anyone the wrong way or fence it, although it's pretty hard to fence it around here. You've got a lot of runoff at Silverstone, so... Yeah, as you can see, that is the Formula 1 pit garages. Now, the Blanc Pain series uses the old Formula 1 pit sort of straight, or start finish straight. Uh, but yeah, rolling start, as you can see, in the GT3 category, pretty much around the world, there is no such thing as a standing start in these cars. I mean, they use traction control and whatnot, and the, the amount of grip and downforce these things have, it would... You know, be breaking drive shafts left, right, and center if we did standing starts in these cars. Anyway, that's enough talk. Here we go. Blanc Pain GT World Challenge Endurance Series on Assetto Corsa Competizione. This is the second round at Silverstone. Looking to better our last race. 13th or 14th place finish. I've actually forgotten what it was now. Yeah, we got a much better chance today. It's dry. Starting off a six. Gonna try and get to the inside for this fast turn one right-hander. Just wait for that green light. Oh, it's a late hold. We have to make a work around the outside. All right, three maggots and beckets for the first time. Oh, gotta get a single file. to the hangar straight. They're all fanned out. <laughs> Having a good old ding dong for third. Car on the Sneak left. up the inside. Clear on the left. So I have got penalties turned off uh, because I feel like they're a little bit too strict in this game. So 
going to do my best to drive as realistic as possible and not <laughs> use the kerbs or run off a little bit too much. We've made one spot. Lambo. Clear on the right. Definitely better on new tyres than the AI, but I don't know how we're going to be over a long sort of fuel run. Well, 20 laps did, wouldn't quite call that a fuel run. Anyway, it's been a successful first lap. The fact we're still facing in the right direction is, is the biggest positive. Ah. Get used to the grip levels. Just come from qualifying, where it's running a low sort of level of fuel. Oh. Oh, greasy, come on, idiot! It's just so unstable. What's going on with this? Or I can't fast but yeah it's very twitchy does not suit my driving style at all I quite like to really dive into corners and lean on the front end whereas I found this car really wants to be driven off the rear similar to like a Porsche definitely more of a Bentley or Mercedes fan or even a Ferrari out front that Michaela Lation 72 SMP Ferrari has been like miles quicker than everyone else in the practice session so I didn't think anyone was going to get near him but we'll see if we can give it a good shot struggling to catch the, car up there, catch the Ferrari in front of us right now I cannot even English today I've got to have a good in lap here first stop coming up quarter of the way, oh no, sorry, a third of the way through the race. First in-game driver change. See how much ground we can make on this Ferrari in front of us in the pits, if any. The problem is because you've got like a set sort of amount of time you've got to be in the box for on the Seto Corsa Competizione, you sort of really can't make up the time in the pits. It's all about how sort of well you land on the jacks and how quickly they can get you up. It's the only way you sort of make time, so I'm going to focus on that here. Absolutely nailed it. 
You can tell when you screw it up because they sort of slide you forward or back depending on where you sort of stop. But anyway, hopefully we should be able to get out a little bit closer than what we were going in the pit lane to the Ferrari ahead. Right. Make sure the ignition's back on. Start this thing up as soon as we hit the floor. Right, come on, let's go. There goes the leader. Right, we're out. There's the Ferrari, there he is. Oh no, he's behind us. Oh, cool. Alright, so we gained a spot in the pits. Neat. And there is the second place Porsche. Wow, so we gained a lot of time in the pits. It's a great stop. down get up into second place we're on the podium so we don't want to go too crazy still nowhere near the leader that's gonna be a mission and a half but I think we can get this guy now I am using a sort of used set of Pirellis I actually don't know what they use in this series it's not be well embarrassed but you know whatever it is yeah we got a used set I used an extra set of tires for qualifying to try and get us further up the grid so hopefully it hasn't cost us too much it's only like a lap or two laps old but every little lap of grip counts especially in this series but the deck wasn't too bad in that first stint so I'm not too worried about it need is to hit lap traffic and hopefully the leader gets slowed down because we definitely do not have enough pace to catch him. Still got to get past old mate in front of us first. Make sure I set up the next pit stop before I forget. Interesting. I have actually found uh, just through like qualifying and practice and watching the sort of drivers that are in the game driving the car. Um, each team does sort of differ in terms of their pace based on which driver is actually in the car on the game, which I thought was pretty neat. You know, the car's sort of just not the same pace throughout the whole race. For example, there's a much quicker driver in this Porsche ahead of us than what there was in the first stint. Just struggling to keep with him. We were catching him before. Oh, that's terrible. Come on. Yeah, anyway, we'll just focus ahead. We're still holding the gap to the car in, third, uh, in fourth. If we can get a podium out of today, today's race after round one, that will be a great result. Need some points. Starting to feel the effects of these used tyres now. We are losing time. The guy behind me is caught right back up, and so is the guy in fifth. A struggle here over the next sort of five minutes before we stop. Just going to try and keep it steady, keep it simple. Starting to get a little bit cloudy now as well. Probably help us out. One point five back. Just a little bit of lap time here. This lap, just make it no mistakes. Really can chomp these curbs up around here. It's so flat. Only thing is, you don't want to get. The other side of them and get some grass because it just completely sends you packing and chasing it. I'm gonna slow the car right down to 
Hit the apex now. Alright, let's get ready for our final stop. Get in and out as quickly as possible. That's going to be very close. Be lucky to get away with that one. Well, it's a little bit too far as well. Oh no, actually, never mind. Oh my god. Literally, as I pit, it starts to piss it down. You have got to be joking me, man. You have got to be kidding me. Jesus Christ, if I'd stayed out one more lap. Go, go, go. No, uh. And I didn't get it started in a way, so I've screwed myself over. And you have got to be kidding me. Shit, I'm gonna have to pit again. You gotta be joking, man. Gonna have to come in, put wets on it. So, oh, if I'd stayed out one more lap, I'd have absolutely nailed it. To be honest, it's not too bad. Not for now. Oh, that's way too much curb. on it. Stepping it all over the spot. Stay out an extra lap. You saw it get it cloudy. Jesus. Can't believe it, man. On the other hand, though, we didn't get caught for speeding on that last stop, which I guess is a bonus, but. No time for shot and stay clear. Oh, I can't believe it. But you know, I don't want him that high. It's too high. God, I'm gonna fry these. Don't even see that. I should have lowered the pressures. Oops. And I've just overshot my box. Ah, oh, it's all going to shit. What have I done? All right. No idea what our pace can be like in the rain. This is gonna be interesting. We've got 15 minutes left. I'm 
struggle to hold on to a top 10 here at this rate. No pace in the rain. It's been so sunny all weekend and now it's decided to absolutely piss down. I think you just finish this race at this point, that's going to be a mission and a half. I mean, I literally have a full dry setup on. Oh, and then we've just been turned. Lovely! Oh my god. Bruh! We're in third for like 40 minutes. 10 minutes before the end, we just screwed it all up. Still got so long to go as well. Five laps around here with this setup. It's going to be a mission and a half. Well, we're down to 10, so we're going to lose the last point available today in a second. I don't know how we're going to keep this guy behind us. Unstable. I mean, it was unstable in the dry, let alone in the wet. forming up behind us. It's not going well. It's been an absolute disaster, lads. Oh, Jesus, can't even keep it on the track. have no traction it doesn't even feel like I got wets on at all on the right. try the carding line eh
so long to go. sucks. Best to try and keep this bloody Mercedes behind us. We've already been taken out by one of them. First time I've actually not used the track too much at that first corner. Oh no, that's not holding on. That's that's screwed right up. Oh, no, we're going for a ride here, lads. Oh, no, come on, keep it straight, keep it straight. There's the track. There it is. Don't hit anyone. <laughs> that's not going well. Ah, oh, it's been in the race from hell. We literally have like 20 cars lined up behind us. so much quicker in the rain than what they are in the dry.
Uh, three minutes to go. Come on, I just want this thing to end now. This has been the biggest hero to zero moment I think I've had on sim racing all year. <laughs> Chilling. We were looking at a first podium in the second race of the year, and boom, snatched away by some fucking rain. Bruh. Cheers. Needed that. Barely get out of the corners as it is. Hoping we're just about, just about to save it. Uh, yeah, no, I'm hoping we're just about to start the second last lap of the race here. Go straight, honest to God. I'm actually starting to wonder whether we got wets on at all. I mean, this thing is slippery as hell. Absolutely no regret whatsoever. Well, for the most part, we kept this car in one order. I guess that's one positive. For a while there, like I was going to fence it. But, you know, around the last corner, let's just park this thing and move on to the next one. Oh, God, I can't even... <laughs> no. no. I'll just lose, lose one more spot for good order. Just allow our Lamborghini teammate to have <laughs> one spot. Oh, yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> Needed that. <laughs> oh, my God. 27th place. You have got to be joking me. Oh, my days. No, just, just, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> just stop. Oh, I can't drive that thing anymore. It's going gonna, it's gonna to kill me. Anyway, that's the end of that one, lads. Stay tuned for the next one at Paul Ricard, where hopefully it doesn't fucking rain like the last two races. And yeah, uh, hopefully you get a better result there. No points from this race. And yeah, until next time, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Fuck's <laughs> sake.